Hello everyone, I'm M. Welcome back to Tech Block. Today we are taking a look at the newly released Razer Hammerhead True Wireless earphones right here. These are very, very similar to Apple AirPods in design. They have a Razer logo on there, but to me, this is pretty much like the Razer AirPods. And they also seem to be like kind of well priced at hundred pound. You know, I'm kind of looking at these as like the Razer edition AirPods. AirPods nowadays really aren't that cheap. You can maybe get them for like 140, 150 pound. The new Apple AirPods Pro are like 250 pound. They're pretty damn expensive. So after Apple announced their Apple AirPods Pro, and priced it at 250 and then a few days after Razer comes out with this, the moment I saw the headline that Razer dropped, you know, these types of headphones, I'm like, oh God, the price tag is gonna probably be like 200 pound or something crazy. Like, you know, Razer AirPods are surely not gonna be cheap, but no, these are actually priced quite well at 100 pound. Uh, I wonder if they're any good. I'm gonna really be comparing them to something like Apple's AirPods. I've been using Apple AirPods for quite a few years now as I do own an iPhone. So pairing an iPhone with Apple AirPods is just a wonderful experience. What I want to see here today is how is the whole experience using something like the Razer Hammerhead True Wireless earphones with an iPhone. I want to see how the experience is. All right, so without further ado, I think we should probably get these guys unboxed and take a look at what these Razer Hammerhead True Wireless earphones are all about. Are they any good? Are they worth your money? Let's find out. Let's cut the seal right there. So as for the actual specs of these earphones, ultra low latency, water resistant design, custom tuned 13 millimeter drivers with apparently an extended base over here. As these are of course the Hammerhead earphones from Razer. Uh, these have been around for a very long time, but only recently have they made them, you know, true wireless and gave them an actual case and pretty much made them look like AirPods, but you know, Razer edition. These are Hammerhead headphones nevertheless, and they probably will have quite a bit of bass to them which hopefully will sound pretty damn good. Now these headphones are also touch enabled and voice assistant compatible, so hopefully they work with Siri. And by touch enabled, I'm assuming they will kind of function as AirPods where you can double tap the earphone on you know, either one to you know, pause the song, go forward, it trigger the voice assistant, you know, do all that good stuff. And then over here, we also have Bluetooth 5.0, of course, and auto pairing. So when you pop them in your ear, hopefully they should instantly pair to your phone. That's the whole concept, pretty similar to AirPods but by Razer. As for battery life, I believe the total battery life uh, for these earphones is around three hours. But according to Razer's website, that uh, may vary based on usage. And as for the charging case, that gives you an extra 13 hours of battery life. So three hours of battery life on the actual earbuds and then extra 13 hours in the actual case. So on paper, everything seems to be pretty damn good. Okay, we have covered these specs. This is a little bit different. We have a green booklet this time, wow. Okay, thanks for choosing Razer. Protect your Razer gear today, Razer Care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, damn, these actually look sick, man. Damn, the packaging actually looks very, very well presented. Looks sick, to be honest. There's like a bit of glue or something on the case. Why? <laughs> okay, well, that's hopefully gone now. Cool, so the charging case is right here. How satisfying is all of this. All right, so here we have the case itself. There's a Razer logo kind of engraved on the very top here. At the back, there's a USB type C port for charging the actual case itself. Once you open it up, there will be an LED indicator right there turning green. And this is the inside of the case. You pop both the earbuds inside of there and they will charge up via these little prongs, which is pretty cool. Inside the case, there is of course another Razer logo kind of engraved into rubber this time. And there's also labels for left and right for the actual earphones themselves. The case, I kind of expected to maybe have a little bit more weight to it, or at least the materials used for this could have been a bit more premium. But overall, like, it seems very functional. The closing is quite satisfying, I suppose. But the case itself, I feel like, could feel a little bit more premium. Moving on, we do have uh, this thing over here, which I'm guessing you can kind of thread through here. Yeah, so you can thread this through here. And of course, you know, use this as like a little carrying thing for your Razer Hammerhead case, which is actually pretty cool. Glad they included this. As for the cable that they give you, it is, of course, a Razer branded USB type C cable that we shall now open up just like this. We, we got Razer logos all over this cable and of course, a uh, green plastic used inside of there. The cable itself, very high quality braided and the cable itself is, I'd say, maybe around 30, 45 centimeters long in length. As for the rest of the items here, you do get Razer stickers, but they are green. Notice there's nothing mentioning Razer Chroma. That is because these I do not think have RGB. The sticker here asking us, does it have RGB M? I don't think it does. Okay, so looking at these earphones right now, they do look pretty damn weird if you ask me. <laughs> they actually do look very weird, but 
they feel pretty nice. And taking a look at the booklet a bit more, uh, apparently there's also a gaming mode that can be activated by triple tapping and then holding the last tap for at least two seconds. That'll go ahead and activate the gaming mode for these earphones. There's also a bunch of different information here about all the different functions these earphones can do. So you can do a double tap, a triple tap, press and hold six seconds, press and hold two seconds, press and hold half a second, bunch of stuff here, wow. And then over here, there's also a bunch of information about pairing to both Android and iOS. These earphones do also come with their own app, the Razer Hammerhead True Wireless, or TW, available on both iOS and Android, of course. I'm gonna quickly download this app. Boom, downloaded. Very, very small app. Would like to use YouTube, of course. First time pairing. Make sure your Razer Hammerhead True Wireless earphones are not in use before connecting to the app. All right, so to pair them, you gotta put them in the case first. Let's see how this whole process is. Ooh, okay, very satisfying there. They just kind of popped into place, no problem. We can close the case, open it up, very nice. So it tells us to place the earphones inside of the charging case, close the lid, wait five seconds, probably five seconds. Open the lid to enter pairing mode, search, connecting, apparently. Oh wow, well, that went very well, cool. No problem at all. Apart from that though, in this app, there's languages that you can choose from and um, Wow, really not much else. Cool. So that's the app that everything comes with, I suppose. Let's pop these inside my ear, see how they actually feel. Okay. So, they feel okay. I heard a beep. Oh, that's my GoPro. I'm like, why is there a beep? Um, okay, let's go over to settings in my phone. Okay, I'm now connecting to the Razer True Wireless. Okay, it just said Bluetooth connected in like a robot voice. Let's listen to some Roddy Rich. It's gonna be like my first reaction. How loud are they? Pretty loud. I can still hear myself speaking. They seem to be decently loud. That works very well. Okay, so first impression. If I take one out, the music doesn't stop. If I take both out, the music still doesn't stop. If I put this one in, then nothing happens. So, a little bit different from AirPods. Uh, the music doesn't stop automatically once you take the earphones out. You can take both of them out, the music will still continue playing. But to play and pause music is very simple on these earphones. Instead of like double tapping like you would on AirPods, you instead uh, press and hold for like half a second and the music plays or pauses. And if you wanna skip songs, you just like double tap on either one and it kind of goes forward or backwards or whatever. It's pretty cool, works pretty well. So I've been listening to a few more songs, trying to really get a feel for these earphones, see how they're like to use. Bunch of different music on Spotify that I've just been playing, really trying to test them out. To be honest, the sound quality is pretty damn good. The bass is nice, I like the clarity of everything, but I wouldn't go as far as to say like, the sound quality is amazing. I might take these uh, silicon tips off because it makes it kind of very hard for me to put them inside my ear. Uh, without them, it's kind of a lot easier. They just kind of slide in. Let's do a shake test and see if they fall out. Um, my glasses fell off, but the earphones didn't. Very good. <laughs> now, what if I take my glasses off and do a more intense shake test? Oh, these are not going anywhere. <laughs> now, I'm pretty sure this will mainly depend on the kind of ears that you have. For my ears and the shape of my ears, these fit very similar to Apple AirPods. They feel a little bit more like rough. Oh, accidentally started the music there again. Um, they feel like a little bit more rough, I'd say, um, around my ears and actually inside my ear. They just kind of feel a little bit weird, like not quite the exact shape as AirPods, but very, very similar. Apart from that, though, they seem like pretty decent earphones. I'm thinking I should hop on to the PC there, connect these up via Bluetooth to my PC and see how they perform on something like Counter-Strike. After all, this is by Razer, their low latency headphones. We can turn the whole gaming mode on, see if that changes the actual sound quality in any way. Let's play some Counter-Strike over on the PC behind me. See how these earphones are for gaming. No, oh, just said disconnected and it is now connecting to the PC. Okay, just went to the PC. Let's do a quick test. They are indeed working on the PC. Cool, cool, cool. I'm interested to see like how these earphones even look like, because if I look at the camera, I can't see the earphones. So uh, hopefully they don't look like stupid on me or anything. But yeah, let's hop over to uh, Deathmatch Dust 2. I have got the volume maxed out. So I'm gonna turn it down a little bit because these are pretty damn loud. So we apparently have to triple tap and then hold the last tap for at least two seconds to go into gaming mode. Okay. 
Okay. It just said gaming mode in like a robotic voice. So I assume we've enabled it on this earphone. Have we enabled it on the other one? I don't know, man. We'll find out. I'll tell you if they sound different or anything. But enabling the gaming mode should decrease latency. You know, you don't want to be using some laggy earphones now, do you? Oh god, I think I'm playing on the wrong internet, so I'm lagging. I'm um, at 62 ping, I'm gonna probably start teleporting soon. That's the sound quality, like, it's pretty good for gaming, pretty good for Counter-Strike so far. God damn the lag, man. Ooh, collateral there, wow. I want to get the guy behind the box, he keeps hiding from me. Anyway, I'm going to probably leave it at that for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Link in the description where you can buy these earphones, of course. Uh, I'll try to leave a link to Amazon as well as the Razer store. Uh, but yeah, overall, these seem to be like pretty decent earphones. I'm going to be testing them out a little bit more over time. This has just mainly been like a little unboxing video, first impressions, first look at something like this. And just in case anyone was wondering, uh, no, unfortunately, the LEDs do not light up on these earphones, else that would probably be terrible for battery life. And of course, because there's no LED inside, uh, these headphones don't have RGB, no uh, LED color changing logos or anything like that. Anyway, that's pretty much gonna be it for today's video, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think of these headphones in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts, especially if any of you actually did pick up a pair on day one like I did. Uh, let me know if you picked the pair up and whether or not you like the sound quality. Anyway, I'm gonna be doing a full review of these earphones in the next couple of weeks or month or so, telling you guys all about them and whether or not I actually like using them day to day, as these Razer Hammerhead True Wireless earphones will now be officially replacing my Apple AirPods and I'll instead just be using these uh, Hammerhead earphones. Alright guys, thanks for watching, hope to see you in another video soon. Goodbye.